Well, I'm going to take the transmission out. Um, I noticed mine was leaking a little bit, so I'm going to have to take it out to see what's going on with it. Anyway, this is how I am going to take it out because I've had it out of here before. I'm going to take the, uh, you know, pull the rubber off of here and then I'm going to take the wheel off. You just pull this rubber off here. It's can, can be a little tricky. You might have to use the edge of the screwdriver to pull it off, push it off. And then uh, I just stick a screwdriver in here. And uh, this might be too big, but let's see. I'm kind of turn on here. And then right in the center. You don't want to lose that. I mean, I could have unbolted the, uh, took the lug nuts off, but I don't want these hubs on here either. Just make it even heavier. And then it just pulls right off. Be aware, you got a key in here. You don't want to lose this. Might as well take it out, put it in your rubber cap. And there you go. That's now I'll just repeat this on the other side. Now I'm going to uh, release the drive belt. All you do, you just I'm actually pushing this using my hand here to uh, push in the clutch slash brake, and that'll loosen these up. And then you just pull this off, and then now the belt's loose. Now I'm going to take this off. I mean, I can put the belt on without taking this off, but this thing is too big. The fan, I can't take the fan on it, unless it's the whole body apart. But if I take this bolt out, and it, this is just the keeper for the belt, but it won't slide past the fan. If I was just changing the belt, I wouldn't probably mess with this. Because I, I put the belt on, this new belt on here without removing this, but I have to take it off for this. So, I'll take the This is what I'm talking about. I'm taking this belt keeper here off. If you can see this. Take that off. And then it just comes out. Now I'm going to take the belt off of the uh, transmission. I did the last time, that's I kind of started it over here maybe. Yeah, I put it above the fan like that. Just keep feeding this above this fan. And then, see I'm spinning it backwards. See, it just comes right off. And in reverse, no, I, did, I think I did that in reverse, or I guess you could do it the same way. To put it back on, you just jam it, get it underneath one of those, and it kind of feeds it down over that. So that's how I get that off of there. Now I got to take uh, this uh, cotter pin here out so I can get the spring off the transmission. And I'll go do that. I just took this spring and tucked it on that side of the cross member. Because when it comes down, I want it on, to be on this side. So it doesn't get hung up. Um, there's a connector. Let me go there. Here's the rod. Took it off here. I'm on the, uh, actually, if you're driving, it would be on the right side of the mower. You gotta pull this 
can like this. Move the rod over. And have to pay attention when you're lowering this so it don't hit the fan. Put the pan over there. Then there's an electrical connector here. Pull that off. It's right back here. Again, when you drop this, you're going to have to pay attention to make sure you don't got stuff hanging up here. But uh, now I'll go to the back. Now this mower has this section on because it has a, a lock electronic locking differential. There's like a cylinder here and this thing, it actuates this. It, it'll it slides over and locks both wheels so yours may or may not have this it's only on like a few of these mowers just there's a little clip on here can't remember how I got it off the last time Here's what it looks like. I actually came over here and and just pulled it like like this. Just pulled it real hard. And it must push these out. Then this will come off. Like this. So that's loose now. Now I'm back under the mower. I'm sort of not doing this in any really particular order, but uh, so all these steps that I've done thus far, you could, you know, mix them up. I just don't. I just want to end with uh, well, this. Is, this is uh, this is the, where the cross, transmission mounts to the cross member. There's a plate that's mounted to the transmission and. It's on the back of here. So I take these out. You could take the entire cross member out. Um, the bolts on the frame. And I don't know. I'm not going to do that. But unless I, absolutely, unless I have to. So I don't know that it will find out. I think I do. But it's not that big of a deal. It's just too big. Just four bolts instead of two. But you can take this off maybe. Working on it, what you do to it. I mean, really, you need to take this thing out and you're going to change the wheel. You can't get to the top of the thing together. Right? You sort of can. You, you routed hoses and stuff. I mean, you, you can do it, but. You can clean out your fans on your transmission and all that stuff that where the fan blows down through. These cool locks, that stuff seems to clean a lot of dirt out there. Well, mine won't be out there, but it really won't be too much. I'm just, just trying to around a little bit. Then those are out. And uh, that's probably about it. Now i got to go back and I'm going to do the axle ones, and then that should be free. Well, this is on the left side. I take this out. Oh, this. I'm just going to take it off. It's going to. When I take the bolts out, it's just going to. Load, uh, pivot down, and I don't. I don't know if it's going to be in my way or not. I'm just going to take the bolt out, and then take the take the top ones out. These off. So. Oh.
need a wrench. find one right quick so I'm just gonna use this it's just to hold hold it from spinning. So I'm gonna take these bolts all the way out then I think I'm gonna flip them upside down because I don't want the transmission to rotate when it's coming out. I'll show you that gonna do something like this. Well, don't want to come out of there. I'll take the other one out. And same on the other side, I'm gonna do the other side too. As you can say, I have this ridiculously huge jack here. This is just what I have now. If you're gonna do this, think ahead because you, you might have a lot of a jack or whatever that goes quite this high you can always put these once you take the wheels off you could jack it up and put the uh, stands out on the axles now see what happens is when you go to lift this up now that's front ends loose see it's see it's rotated now it's done this on both sides so I have to get that I just let it down just a hair um, it's not bent to bolts or anything, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a little, uh, I don't know, a piece of wood or something and push that back up. So when I lift this whole thing up, it won't. What it's doing is it's rotating now. And I'm going to have to pull these bolts out too, finally. Okay, so all I did was I put a hammer up actually on this on this side, on the, on the cross member part that I removed. See the bolts are, bolts are fine, and uh, then I'll try to let it come down. Definitely loose. Um, there is that this thing back here, this free wheeler. So when you when you jack it up, you're gonna have to uh, push that through. So I'm gonna keep doing this. So far, just jacking it up. Here's what I was talking about. Once it gets to this point, you can push it through, so you don't have to worry about that hanging up on you. See, it's coming out of there. It's, nothing's attached anymore, so I'm just going to have to keep jacking it until it comes out. Now, here it is. You can see my fan's hitting a little bit, um, but it's it's loose. So here's the, uh, this. There's a little wire up in there I had to pay attention to when I was pulling it down. And you can see there's a wire over there. That was what we pulled off. It's just hanging there. But nothing else is connected here. So now I can just uh, slide it out. These aren't very heavy. I mean, I don't know how much this weighs. Maybe 60, 70 pounds, something like that. So I'm just going to pull it out. Just grab hold of those uh, jacks, the, the stands. Just reached over there and grabbed hold of that one and slid it across the floor. As you can see, there's the whole transmission. It's out of it. So you don't have to disconnect any of this other stuff. Which you wouldn't know 
but I've had this whole thing apart, so I knew what it takes to get it in and out of there. But that's that's pretty much it, and it's out, and uh, you can do whatever you want to do.